Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Google Pixel Fold. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 1,800 bucks. I repeat, 1,800 bucks. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got porcelain and black. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. For the cover display, you got a 5.8 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2092. Now that's 408 for the PPI Patrol. It's IPX8 water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front for protection, up to 1550 nits brightness and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now for the main display, that's 7.6 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1840 by 2208. Now that's 380 for the PPI Patrol. It's made out of glass with a plastic layer. You got up to 1450 nits brightness and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now the hinge is made from mirror polished multi-alloy steel. For the processor, you got the Google Tensor G2 with the Mali G710 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now it's running Android 13 with Google's version of stock Android skin on top. You got 12 gigs of RAM, 256 or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for maximum memory. Now you got a 4,821 milliamp battery that features 30 watt fast charge. And it also features wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 48 megapixel wide angle, 10 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. And you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. The front camera is 9.5 megapixels, and you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. And the inner camera is eight megapixels and you can shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, face unlock, side mounted fingerprint sensor. And of course you're getting five years of Android updates. All right, so all that up for 1800 bucks. Let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Here we go, Google Pixel Fold. Now, I haven't watched any videos. I didn't go to any of the Google events. I wanted to share my live experience with y'all. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, <laughs> and of course, if I'm gonna share it with y'all, we might as well share it with, ladies and gentlemen, late but still great, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white Calm down. Okay, here we go. Google Pixel Fold. Now, I think we already know what's missing from this presentation, but let's double check. Now, this is my first time seeing the device. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so inside, let's see, some uh, foldable instructions. Okay. Let's see what this is going to be. Okay, this looks like the charging cable. Oh, is it just filler? <laughs> okay, that's just filler. <laughs> oh, they got me. Why, why is this filler so heavy, though? Okay, that is what it is. Usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. This is going to be your OTG, USB Type-C to USB-A. And of course, USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cable. No charger in the box. Okay? Samsung, Google, Apple. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay, stop doing that. All right. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going into this with a completely open mind. But before this video, I thought I wasn't going to like this because I usually don't like shorter folds. I like folds like this. The Vivo X Fold 2, this is my favorite foldable device right now. And then after that, I like the Galaxy Z Fold 4. But this one is kind of like right in the middle. Let's move this stuff out the way. This is kind of like right in the middle. So the Samsung for me is too narrow, okay? The Vivo is the perfect size, but I would like it to be a little fatter also. The Google, this is nice and wide, and it's not as short as the Oppo. I like it. <laughs> so far, I'm kind of liking it in my hand. Now the back, frosted glass as opposed to the back of the Pixel, the shiny glass. Now I said this in one of my previous videos, the shiny glass is getting played out. Okay, all of the companies are going with vegan leather, no fingerprints. You're going with frosted glass, no fingerprints. Motorola with the carbon fiber, okay. Anything but shiny glass, okay. We tired of shiny glass. Nobody want to walk around like this all day. So this right here, the frosted black, <laughs> frosted black, frosted glass back. <laughs> Let's say it three times, frosted glass back, frosted black blacks, I don't know. Anyway, you got your <laughs> triple camera set up on the rear, that same computer kind of look to it. There's your LED flash, Google branding. There's your power button, 
Okay, look, look, here we go. See, now Google is the only company that's still doing this. Look at all of these folds. You see power button, then volume. Power button, then volume. Basically, every phone that you're going to see is power button, then volume, except for Pixel. They like to have the power button on the bottom and then the volume on the top. Is that? Let's see. I could be wrong. Oh, they switched up. They switched. No, they, okay, no, I was, I was right. <laughs> I was right. I was right. The power button is on the top. Now, look, this is just one of my pet peeves. Okay, I know I'll be ranting sometimes, but I hate to have the power button on the top. It just makes more sense to have the power button on the bottom. This is one that you're using more. You're going to use your power button more during the day than the volume rocker. Anyway, here's your outer display. Okay, now let's get the first unfold. Okay, now with the white screen, we could do the crease check. Okay, this is, I wouldn't say maximum creasage, but not minimum creasage. Okay, there's definitely a little creasage going on. But it's a foldable device. I mean, you're going to have to deal with that. Okay, so let's get a few folds. Okay. Nice, satisfying, foldable feel. All right, I'll call you back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so far, I like it. Let's see on the top. One of your speaker grills. There's your SIM tray. Bottom. Okay, this what's this on the top? That's a mic. Okay, SIM tray on the bottom. USB Type-C charging slot. Another speaker grill. There's that metal hinge. Let's see, no gap on this. Now, let's check the gap factor. The Galaxy has still, the Galaxy is still one of the only folds that still has the gap factor. Okay, my favorite fold, zero gappage. And the Pixel, zero gappage. Now, I, I'm, I will say this though. So far though, I do like this wide, <laughs> wide design. Y'all know I got big fat fingers, so it seems like it's gonna be easy for me to type on this one. Okay, all right, well, let me pause the video, download some of my information, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I'm in the process of downloading all my apps. So in the meantime, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the price, 1,800 bucks. Now I know a lot of y'all at home said the same thing I'm getting ready to say, that price is a little TGH. And if you don't know what that means, that's too goddamn high. All right, Google, I need y'all to calm down. But I will say this, if you pre-order from Google, they're gonna throw in the Pixel Watch for free. Now y'all know I love free shit, but here's my opinion on this. That's kind of a scumbag move because a lot of us already have smartwatches. Some of us already got the Pixel Watch when it first came out. Why not give you the option to check a box and save that 350 bucks? You know what, Google? I don't want a smartwatch. I appreciate the offer. I'd rather have the $350 savings. Now, 1800 bucks, this is TGH, but for 1500 bucks, that price is about just right because that's what you're gonna pay for a good, a good foldable device. 1500 bucks and under. 1800 bucks, no charge in the box, 30 watt fast charge, doesn't come with a stylus, that price is TGH. Now this part of the video is directly for my subscribers who always leave the same comments every time I review a foldable device. They say, you know what? I want to try one of these foldable phones, but I can't walk around with these big heavy phones. I'm used to walking around with an iPhone. Well, let's weigh these and find out. Okay, so we're gonna set the scale to grams. If you know, you know. We'll start off with the Pixel Fold. 282 grams. Okay, the Galaxy. 268. And the Vivo. 285. So the Vivo is the biggest and heaviest, but watch this. Here's an iPhone 14 Pro Max with no case. 252 grams. Now, Nobody walks around with the iPhone like that. Let's put a case on it. Here's an iPhone 14 Pro Max with a case. 312 grams. So if you could walk around with this, you could walk around with this. And just for fun, let's pull out the Galaxy with a case on it. 276. So the iPhone with a case on it is heavier than all these phones on the table. Now, at the start of this video, I told y'all I was going into this with an open mind, and I'm going to give y'all my honest first impressions so far. Fresh out of the box, only using it for a few minutes, I think this is my new favorite foldable device. As far as the design, I love it. Now, I thought I was going to be mad that it's a little bit shorter, okay, than my favorite phone. I kind of like the taller phones, but the width, the width of this phone is perfect. If you got big hands and fat fingers like me, 
this is the kind of fold that you want. Now, my ideal fold would be a little bit taller, but after using this one so far, it's nice and smooth. The display looks beautiful, but most importantly, that width. I love that width. Now, let's look around real quick. Again, power button on the top, volume rocker underneath it. I don't like that setup, but it is what it is. Always on display. Okay, let me turn this off again. Of course, y'all know you can't customize it. That's one of my gripes with Google devices. No customizable, always on display. But you do have time, date, the weather, your notifications. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can just pick it up and look at it. Face unlock. If you want to, you could do your pin or your password. And you got the fingerprint sensor. Now, the side-mounted fingerprint sensor. Okay, Google. You know, y'all been struggling for the last couple of years with the fingerprint sensors, but putting it on the side, that was a smart idea because it actually works way better. This is the best working Google fingerprint know, sensor. But I found these results. All right, Google, I need you to, bro, don't, don't hate. Google back here hating on the Pixel tablet. Stop hating, Google. All right, anyway, <laughs> fingerprint sensor. This is the best fingerprint sensor that I've seen on a Google device yet. No struggles, works every single time. And it seems like they even got better with the face unlock. And I'm doing this from behind the camera and it's picking up my face. Now, of course, you swipe over. There's your Google homepage. Let's do that. Unfold it. Okay, there's your Google homepage. Let's check something. Let's see if we got face unlock from the outer display. I mean, from the um, inner display. Nope. Okay. So only face unlock from the outside display. Now, on the Vivo phone, you know you could do face unlock from the inside and on the outside, okay? Keep that in mind. Now you're gonna hear me reference other foldable devices because of course, this is Battle of the Folds. All right, so let's um, let's see, swipe through, there's all your, now I got all some, um, let me see, I think, yeah, all of my apps already installed. It's nice and smooth, but I, I love this form factor. I love it, okay, I, I think I'm sold. I think I'm sold. All right, let's go to the settings real quick and let's run through the basics. Okay, so you do have VPNs, private DNS. I'm gonna make this quick, y'all. Of course, you got uh, NFC. Let's see, um, let me click on see all. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, NFC, screencast, nearby share, and Android Auto. Okay, apps, nothing to really see there. Notifications, nothing there. Battery. Now, when I do the full review, we're gonna uh, thoroughly test out this battery. That might be one of the things that I don't like it may not have great battery and of course 30 watt fast charge i already don't like that either okay but let's see let's show battery percentage why not you do have a uh, let's see adaptive preferences okay so we got adaptive charging adaptive battery now one thing I, I will say about pixel devices it takes a good week to break them in that's why i don't want to rush and do this video maybe i'll wait about 10 days 8 to 10 days which is not a big deal because if you go to google and you try to order this phone it's not shipping until late august Okay, so we got plenty of time to do this video. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll put all the uh, battery saving preferences. We'll leave them storage. Uh, let's see, storage. We'll leave the battery uh, saving. Let me say that again. <laughs> the battery preferences. I'm going to set everything up off camera and put everything to its optimal peak performance. <laughs> all right, storage. Let's see. This one is 256 gigs. Sound and vibration. Now it's playing around off camera. The speakers actually sound pretty dope. The speakers actually sound pretty good. Okay, so let's go to display. Okay, so lock screen, screen time, okay, display size, colors. Okay, so we got adaptive or natural. Smooth display. Now you're going between 60 and 120 hertz. You got screen protector mode. Wallpapers in style. You know Google has the nice color sh uh, changing themes. I like that. We're going to leave it on dark theme. Accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, all of the correct settings. Okay, so you got your system updates, app security, device security. Of course, five years of security patches and Android updates. Uh, factor that into the price. All right, so if you think 1500, uh, let me say 1800. If you think 1800 is TGH, remember, this is guaranteed for five years though. So put that into the uh, price. I just wish that I could not have another Pixel Watch. So anybody want to buy a Pixel Watch, hit me up. I sell this to you for 250. <laughs> let's see safety and emergency passwords and account digital well-being okay system let's see anything let's see we got any uh gestures okay quickly open camera okay double tap for that 
flip for selfie, okay? System navigation, tap to check phone, lift to check phone, flip to shh, all right? Not silence, flip to shh. I like that. Press and hold power button. For me, let me get the power menu. Okay, let me get the power menu. Okay, so about, let's see anything we need to see here. Okay, dual sims. Let's see, all right. Now this one does support eSIMs. And that's pretty much it. Nice and smooth so far. Let's uh let's check the web browsing speeds real quick. Okay, well, maybe not. All right, I'll save that for the full review. But in the meantime, let's um let's check the crease. Look at the creasage on this. Now this is not maximum creasage. And one thing I do like when you rotate the phone, now you get the full screen. Now look, now this is a picture I posted 14 years ago. This is my cousin. All right, I was uh, at a, a wedding and he tried to, he tried to out, out drink me in Ciroc. And this is how he ended up at the end of the night. Just had a reminisce on that. Happy birthday to my brother Mook. All right, this is his birthday, you know. You know, okay, today's his birthday, but somebody posted for him, okay. It is what it is. Anyway, now this is not an RDHS. I want, just wanted to get, I, I know, I, start, I, I just start rambling, right? All right, look at the crease. Now let's do let's do a little crease battle. Let's see. Let's do the crease. Let's do a little crease check. All right. Let's uh let's go to Facebook. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me put it on uh, light mode. All right. So I got the Vivo set to a white background. Now of course you can see the crease. When you're looking at it straight ahead, you're not going to see anything, but there's a little creaseage. Now with the pixel. Let's see. When you turn it. Now let me get this angle. Let's see this angle right here. You can see a little creasage, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now here's the Galaxy. If you notice, it seems like the Galaxy display is a lot brighter. There's the crease. Okay, all of these creases are not too bad. Again, with a foldable device, it is what it is. Okay, now let's see, let's, um, let's take it over to Instagram. Let's see how Instagram looks. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Okay, it does rotate. Okay, that's pretty dope. Let's try um, split screen multitasking. Let's do the internet on one side. Okay, there it is. We'll do Amazon. Okay, there's your split screen. Let's see, can we resize? A little resizing. Again, this is just my first impressions. Looks pretty good so far. Let's go to camera. Let's see, we got night sight. Now you know, you know the pictures are gonna come out sick on this because even with the, the peasant pixel, the photos look great. It's all about the software. We got long exposure, portrait mode, camera. Let's see what kind of zoom we working with. 20 times zoom, video. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got 4K, 60 frames per second. Let's see any other modes, panorama, photosphere, and lens. Now, let me see one thing real quick. Let's see, do we have, okay, we got the we got the fold mode. Let's see, now I'm gonna, see, okay, let's see, here it goes. Let's let's click that button, let's see. Oh, here it is, there's the button I was looking for, this one right here. Okay, switch screens now. Oh, yes, yes, okay, so we, we, we're gonna have fun with this. Oh, we're gonna have fun with this. All right, anyway, I, 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 like I said, I don't wanna waste too much time on this. When I do the full review, I'll learn everything. And we'll um we'll get everything popping. Oh, let, let's see. Okay, so we close it like this. Now we exit out. Now from the outer display, let me talk about this before we wrap this up. This is the best part about this phone: the width, the outer display. I was chilling on Instagram like this. Okay, you know, just doing my thing. You know, and it feels like using a regular phone, but it feels it feels just as wide as my iPhone. Okay, it feels just as wide as a Galaxy. Yeah, look at the width. The width of this. This is the full Instagram experience. Let's see. Let's see. Can we do everything that we could do? Let's go to let's go to music. Split the top. Okay, we'll do. Uh, let's see. App store on the bottom. Okay, split screen multitasking. Okay, now it looks a little weird like this. Matter of fact, let's um let's do something else. Let's do Facebook. And then we'll do, let's see, now Instagram can't split. Nope, of course not. Let's try Amazon. Okay, this is a good split. Now, I don't know why the, the top one turns into this angle like this. Let's see, let's go ahead and open this up. 
Okay, so you do get the automatic transition, but from the outer display, we'll have to see if there's any um, ratio settings, aspect ratio settings, but so far I don't like how kind of have that <laughs> the, the little narrow look like that. But anyway, anybody really good? Okay, now there it is. Okay, look, okay, so you're gonna have to split it like that. You see, this is all stuff that we gotta learn together. I don't know how much I'm gonna be doing split screen from the outer display, but I like being able to switch open just like that. So far, mm, fresh out of the box. On a scale of one to 10, now y'all know, y'all know. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna give a rating. I'm gonna just say so far, as far as the form factor and the build quality, I love it, okay? I absolutely love it. But y'all know, there's gonna be some things that I don't like, so we'll talk about that during the full review, but there's gonna be some things that I love because it's a, it's a Pixel phone, so you already know the speech to text is gonna be crazy. The camera is gonna be crazy. We gotta check the battery life, okay? We gotta check the, the folding, you know, the mechanisms, the hinge. Let's see. Now we do have, let's see if this works in YouTube. Matter of fact, let's, let's try one more, one more quick test. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, so let's see, watch a little video. Okay. Okay. See, I, I keep hitting the power button. Let's see if we got. Okay. Let's get full screen. Okay, here's a full screen YouTube. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, yeah, now it could go like that. But what I wanted to see was um, do we have a flex mode? This doesn't look like flex mode. Let's see. Okay, there it is. There it is. We do have a flex mode. Okay, let's go to the comments. Okay, so we got a full flex mode. I Okay. All right, Google. Okay. Now, I don't want to leave a comment on my man's video like that. But, yeah, we got a full-fledged flex mode. Let's go to our camera. Okay, look at this. We do have picture in picture. All right, Destroyer, calm down. <laughs> Sorry, that's my guy, though. All right, let's go to camera again one more time. Oh, look, we got the flex mode in the camera. Okay. Let's see. Take some photos like that. Okay. Now, what does this button do right here? Okay. A little brightness. Let's see. We can switch. Okay. We can switch lanes. Okay. That's me from behind the camera. <laughs> Brookstone fan alert. Anyway, again, fresh out of the box. Ooh, frosted glass back. I am feeling this. I am feeling this. But hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to test. And I'm going to test it. But so far, I love it. I, I love it. It's a, is it going to be worth the price? Mm, I think so. I think this is going to be worth the price. As long as everything continues to work the way it's working now. Fingerprint sensor. This is going to be worth the price. Now, let me try one more thing. Let's, um, let's go to Instagram. Okay, so say we're on Instagram. Let's go ahead and close this up. Nice transition. Okay, let's try this. Uh, one more thing, let's see now, does does pinch the zoom work? Okay, pinch the zoom work. Okay, all right, so let me kind of wrap this up. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Street Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat, guys, at all. Oh, yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss and Matt. Deuces. Spock won the beam up.
Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.